Hi and welcome to Add More Zest with Diamonds. My name's Rebecca and I've got some items to share with you today from GBFKE. They were kind enough to send me some goodies. Now I'm going to start with the one that I opened to find out which company it was. I just peeked. I didn't take it all the way out. I just peeked enough to see. Um, but this one is a luminous, if I remember rightly. It is a partial drill and it is a round drill. Oh, this has got a few of those frosty ones in it. So this product is luminous diamond painting. The effect will be affected if the letters number printed on the canvas. Therefore, please refer to the letter number of the instruction and diamonds tool bag to DIY. Okay, so this one has some of these sort of newer ones that are luminous, but they're frosted, frosted diamonds. Now, if you put frosted diamonds on to say one of these that has the number two on it, you would see the number two through it. So therefore, it has different colours. So where you have the white plain dots, you put the clear ones. And then we've got red dots, yellow, blue, green and pink. And they're all plain with no symbol. So therefore, we have in here, different ones. Now it does say to check with the code on the bag and if we look at the code on the bag so for the first sort of luminous one which is frosted in clear it says LZYG07 and the letter A um, the LZYG07 is the code of the painting but if we go here where we've got the letter A, that means it's the white circles. And then if we go to the letter B, it's the red circles. So they are, you know, pretty much relevant to the colours that we have. So we have clear and then it's sort of an orangey red is red on the canvas. This orangey yellow is yellow on the canvas. This one is blue. This one is green and this one is pink. But they are slightly luminous. They're not as luminous as glow in the dark as you can get for some. And then we do have some normal diamonds as well in orange, blue, purple, and then a more, so this is more of a, a royal blue. And this is a bit more of a turquoisey mid blue. I hope I explained that properly. I only figured it out myself properly when I had an unboxing on a painting with only one of these frosted diamonds in. Um, you do get a toolkit. Let me just confirm the size so that you all know. It's down to 30 by 30, but the printed area is 26 by 26. And where did that come from? I've just spotted there's some stars on the canvas. You do also get the star diamonds. I thought there was a bag. I think I just had a brain moment. Um, but you do get a little instruction to let you know, and that's just a copy of the painting. But I thought it was a it was a sweet looking cat. I'm not a huge cat person, um, only because I'm allergic. Um, not really for any other reason, but I know many viewers are cat people, so it's nice to showcase the cats as well as the dogs. Right, that's a big one. Let me go for the other smaller one, and I will need my scissors for this one, because I haven't opened this one. Because I was able to figure out what company it was by opening one of them. Okay, so for painting number two, this is another one. That look, see, we've got a dog and a cat. I didn't even realise it was the same company I ordered these from. This one is 
it's still a partial but it's slightly different in the fact that this one is rhinestones so not only do we have the rhinestones on the dog but we also have a lot of different size ones around the background so this is a 30 by 30 down as but this one is only 24 by 24 so it is a little bit smaller but with this one, oh, we even get square ones. We get some quad ones. We do get a toolkit, basic toolkit. Seen one toolkit, seen them all. But these are the ones that go on the painting itself, I think, mainly. Yeah, so these are the ones that go on the painting itself. So we've got some silver, red. We've got this peach colour then mix no this is still on the dog this is it's not quite silver can you see it's iridescent can you get that we've got iridescent sort of over the silver rather than the plain silver i'm trying to hold them both together so the light can catch the difference between the two and then we've got some more sort of very light brown colors we've got some square quad diamonds for the collar We've got some blue hearts as well that go on the little dog tag. And if you see there that we only need four blue hearts and we get loads. And then this is the background. So the background is made up of small rhinestones, medium and large. And it gives a really nice effect when you dot them all over. Um, I will of course have the link in the description. So do click on it and you do get to sort of see the effect that I mean um, that you get on the background when you do one of the rhinestone paintings like this. It makes it sparkle and pop. But look, see, aren't they sweet? They could be friends, maybe. <laughs> maybe, maybe. And then did I go, was I on an animal craze? For this big one or did I go for something different this is where by the time it turns up my memory hasn't my memory can't remember what it was that I ordered did, it, did I go anymore no I went mermaid so I went from animals that we know and love to pretend but this picture was striking. So it's actually a 30 by 90. I'm gonna turn it on its side. So you're gonna to have to tip your head with me to see the full image. But it is such gorgeous purples, turquoise, red. I just thought the colors were absolutely stunning for her. And I thought that would be a really fun painting to do. It is a round. It is, I say it's down as 30 by 90. It is actually just short of 25 by, let's see if I can do this without it curling back up on me, by eight. Oh, just over 83 nearly 84 centimeters so there is a little bit of a border but I don't think it takes away from her at all move my tape measure out of the way you don't need to see that when we're trying to look at the mermaid but yeah that's stunning um diamonds wise we have some gorgeous colors in here So to start from the beginning, we have, oh, that's not the beginning, that's the beginning. We've got some burgundies, purples, of course, little bits of greys and blues, even more purple and a bit of a stronger blue. Some nice bright blues there. A little bit of darker blue. Oh, look at that pink, nice hot pink. Nice turquoise there. And then we've got some nice deep, that's more of a turquoisey. Oh, what number is that one? 
Oh, 3750, so it is a blue. It's not quite as dark as 823, it is a little bit lighter. Then we've got another turquoise. That one's the darker turquoise one. Some more purple. Oh, look at those. And some green as well. I think those colours all together are absolutely stunning. And it's amazing how you put all of those together and you get a diamond painting like that. Uh, but yeah, that is today's selection. I will, of course, pop the links in the description down below. Um, we've got the pets at home and the imaginary mermaid. Um, but thank you to GBFKE for sending me these, of course, to share with you all. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, and don't forget to check out the description if you do um, fancy any of these for yourself. Thank you for watching. I'll speak to you all again soon.